On the top floor of Spartan Stadium this morning, researchers from Michigan State University and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources put tracking bands on three peregrine falcon chicks. They want to know where the birds are headed next. Here for you now with the details is 6 News reporter Ray Sherman. Things are getting flighty at MSU, but not for three six-week-old peregrine falcon chicks. They are too young to fly, but just old enough for researchers and the DNR to place tracking bands on, which is what they did today. It's a great opportunity for um, Michigan State Fish and Wildlife students to get a hands-on experience. The banding ceremony was held on the eighth floor of Spartan Stadium, just below the rooftop where a family of peregrine falcons have been nesting in a handmade space curated by students in the MSU Fisheries and Wildlife Club. The purpose, officials say, is to track the movement of the species and help them recover, as they have been listed as a state endangered species for several decades. When we first started, the birds were still on the endangered state endangered list, and since then they partly because of our efforts and all the other boxes around the state, um, we've really helped the population. So where we've helped reduce the, um, the status to threatened species. The banding process includes researchers removing falcon chicks from their nest, which according to officials is extremely dangerous. They say the peregrine falcon parents are territorial, and so the researchers use umbrellas as shields to grab the chicks and bring them inside. Once the chicks are safely in the hands of the researchers, the entire banding process takes 10 to 15 minutes with some sound effects. <laughs> Officials say this is likely to be the last time the DNR will do this since the species has been moved from a state endangered species to a state threatened species. Here for now, Lansing, Ray Sherman, 6 News.